Gary, I understand you've got some big news you want to share with the Glenavon fans. Yeah, massive news for the football club. Um, we've we've obviously completed the the pre contracts of uh, Mark Hoggy, Mark Stafford, and Andrew Waterworth. Um, absolutely delighted, isn't the word for it? Um, for a club of our, our stature to be able to bring in three players that have achieved so much over the last five years is is incredible, and it's a it's a great. Um, Buzz for us to get these types of players to the football club. Um, if you look at it over the last few years, it's it's hard to attract these these types of players, these big big characters. And listen, the three of them have just come off the back of another league title and double uh, cup double. So, you know, it's it's very very difficult for clubs like us to attract players like this. But but obviously due to the situation that, that Linfield's went full time, um, it doesn't always um, apply to everybody that they can do that. And and thankfully for us, we've been able to to get in and get taught onto them. And, and managed to agree the three of them to, to come to the football club. Um, it's a massive coup for the football club. You know, we're talking three out and out winners. Okay, people might say two of them are maybe at the other end of their career, but you know, if you look at it this year, I think Andrew Waterworth was in the top two players for goals per minute. You know, and and he's probably been the top goals per minute striker over the last five years. If you if you combine it all, so to get a player of that caliber is is unbelievable. You know, Mark Hockey, we all know what he was like before he left here. Um, top 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 centre half. But also since he's went to Linfield as well, he's also played right back quite a bit as well. So he showed his versatility, and you know that's what we need at this football club. We need people players that are versatile as well. But you know, winner, born winner, and you know he's quiet enough on the pitch, but he's a winner, and, and he and he goes about his business in the right manner, and you know he's a great professional. Um, and as I say, he's he's been a big big player for Linfield over the last four or five years, um, and and to finalise it off with with Stafford, you know, Staff is a as a a proper pro, a proper old school, you know, centre half where he, he wants to head and kick things and, and he's a born winner, you know, but that's the one trait that we've wanted to bring to the football club. We wanted to bring born born winners to the football club, people that want to win at all costs and, and thankfully we've been able to track three of them at the and you know, I'm delighted. I'm delighted with it for the chairman and delighted for the club and, you know, a big, big uh, a lot of praise has to go to the, the club for the, giving me the back end to bring these three players in and we're just hoping that it'll help take us down all our level because you know I don't think um, we're too far away from being a top six side as has proved this year we missed out by one point and I think bringing in three born leaders number one and, and, and two the, the other side of it born winners you know I think it'll it'll help everybody at the football club it'll it'll help the younger players it'll help the experienced players it'll it'll help everybody and you know hopefully um, that'll help us to take us down all our level. Well, funny you mentioned. I was going to say, you know, it's a real signal of intent that you've signed these three players. Yeah, as I say, you know, you know, funny story is I near had Andy and staff about two years ago, but you know, at that time, Linfield won the league and under the side of the stay there. But you know, that's football, um, and and at the time, I understood understood their reasons as much as I was disappointed. Um, I understood their reasons for staying, and it's probably worked out the right decision for them because they've won two league titles since that and an Irish Cup. So, um, as I say, this year it wasn't going to suit them to, to stay at Linfield because of the full time model that they're going down. So, thankfully, we were able to get in and 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 get the three deals sorted and. You know, they've been amazing professionals over the game over the last 10 years in this league, um, some of them for longer. And as I say, for us to, to get them over the line eventually and, and get them to the football club will give everybody around the club a massive lift. And, you know, I'm sure it'll be massive news for the supporters and um, everybody that, that has anything to do with Lenavon or connected to Lenavon. I'm sure they'll all be delighted. And, you know, there's nobody any more delighted than myself. Um. As you mentioned earlier on, they've left their club because of their decision to, to go full time. Do you think that this, you know, sort of move that we can show now that we are the, the premier destination for those clubs who maybe full time football doesn't suit their lifestyle? Listen, we're we're one of three clubs probably, four clubs, um, Coleraine, and obviously Cliftonville, Bellamine and ourselves, and we're gonna be the clubs that are battling for these types of players. Thankfully we've been able to, to tie these three down, but I'm sure over the, the next coming years I'm sure the likes of the other clubs will be able to tie players down as well. That's just the, way, the, the nature of the game now because if you've got a, a, a really good job that pays pays well financially, there's no way you're going to give it up um, to, to go full-time football. At least I don't think you will anyway. I think it would be stupidity to do that. So, you know, with that in mind, you know, obviously clubs like ourselves and Bellamina and Corey and Cliftonville and, and obviously Dungan and Zakarik supported Irons, you know, Warren Points, we'll all benefit from that and hopefully that will make us all stronger because, you know, not everybody is in the position that they can give up their job and move full time. So, you know, hopefully that will in turn strengthen the league as well and, and strengthen clubs like ourselves.